day number two. We got up to in some high country. We're gonna sit here and blast this big old huge bull right in here. Turn around, we got some good stuff behind us. This looks cool. And then we're gonna hike up over this hill. And there's another bull back in there. We're gonna spend all day out here, so put a little day back together. Thinking maybe tomorrow we might actually pack in somewhere else camp for a night or two. So see what we can't turn up. We got coats done yesterday. Mine are Josh's turn now. So see how this goes. Hmm. Just had a heartbreak. I'm just sitting here, glassing, and I heard something off to my right. And I get out of the glass, and probably 80 yards away, I see a tail walk behind one of the trees, and I turn to look at it. And it's about a 90, 95 inch buck walking on the side of that hill. And I think the wind, he caught my wind or something. He started moving along the side of there. And I don't have a gun over here. And Tony was at the other side of the ridge. So we watched him go into a spot and then we lost him I think he went over the ridge over there in that clump of stuff by far the best buck we've seen so what happened should have known bring the gun just in case So now Tony's gonna go up, up on top, get on top, ridge down towards where we think he went over, maybe pick him up again. And then I'll go over there in case he pushes him off this side or something. Well, when Josh first found that buck, he's on top of this ridge and he came up over here We uh, we thought that he went over, but there's one other little ridge in there, and we we're gonna come to the spot that he that we lost him at and go look off the other side. And when we came over the top, he busted back down. He was like 30 yards from us, and he went over the edge before we can do anything. But ran down this hill, and he's laying in that thick stuff, and they're bedded somewhere. So I'm set up for a shot, sitting here trying to pick him up and he's in there somewhere and I think Josh is moving to try to get a different angle on him. He's sitting, what is it, 580? Sitting at 580 yards right now. Let's see if we can't get it done. It looks like a pretty decent buck. Josh has got a better look at him than we have. The only time we've seen him was when he was running down the hill, so it's not like we could really sit there and look at time length or anything like that. but. Looks like he's gonna be pretty decent, so Let's see if we can't pick him up right now. Well, he's still sitting there bedded. Josh moved a little bit, he picked him back up. All you can see is his body. So he looks like he's gonna run out of shade in a little bit, so we're gonna see him wait for him to stand up. Um, we still can't see exactly where he's at. We know kind of what bush he's in, but we can't actually see him, so. Sit here and wait. Hopefully, get this done. Oh, well, Yosef made the trip up, up the mountain today. I guess that Josh is over there. That buck's on the side of that hill. More down in there, actually.
You're good, you're good. He's not going anywhere right now. Yeah, I got it. Where's that radio at? I don't know. Yeah, he's getting set up in the scope right now. Let it go. Yeah, he's getting set up in the scope right now. Hammered him. Huh? Hammered him. Is he dead? He's down. I can't see him. Do you see him, Joe? Yeah, he went down right there. He's kicking around in the bushes. Oh, I stay on him. I just see the bushes moving, but I don't see him. Was it a good shot, he thinks? It looked like a good shot. He's down. He's kicking around in the bushes. He doesn't look like he's kicking around too much now. Oh. Is that just air ball, that first one? I didn't, I didn't not even see it. Didn't see where it hit, and the deer never even moved. Didn't look over anything. It just kept doing whatever it was doing. I sat here for three hours and still got shaky baby syndrome. God damn. Oh. Well, deer down. I guess I flinched bad on that first one. It wasn't close. The second one got him good. He dropped in his tracks, but it looks pretty solid. I'm gonna get down to him right now. Nino's across the canyon. He's already back down over there, getting ready to hike across. Josh is packing up. He's up over here somewhere. We're gonna hike down. Shouldn't take very, you know, 15 minutes or something, but see what he looks like when we get when we get up to him. Nino's already up to him. Josh is coming off the side hill. Me and Josh got to cross the little creek get up to him. See what it is. Probably go up by that cedar tree. Can I cut right there first? Yeah. Or you just come over here and we pull them out this way. I think if you come around this way, you yeah. could get a real good look at them right off the bat, bro. You here? No, right here, right here, right here. Come on, y'all, hurry. What do you think, bud? <laughs> He's a good buck. This big. Still a little forward on it, huh? Yeah, I'm glad we didn't ruin any meat. Yeah. I want to see what the fuck it looks like when you pull him out of that hole.
little sticker right here. Yeah. He's 90. Turn his head. Oh, yeah. Uh, bigger than what you got. Yeah, a good buck. His left side's big. So what do you think, Tom? Happy. Happy? <coughs> Real happy. How far was that shot? 570. 570? Yeah. Good shooting, kid. Thank you. Got back just in time, didn't I? Yeah. All right. Now the work begins, huh? Yeah, this is way easier than yesterday. Hey. I said we throw the whole thing on that kid's back right I'm there. I'm not taking this whole thing out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now the work starts. Good job, sweet turkey. Thank you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start start charging. Get some finder fees going, huh? Mm -hmm. Now if I can want to find one for myself. It was worth it. It was worth baking in the sun for three hours. Watching a a glimpse of an antler every once in a while. Good shot, 570. Solid. It's gonna be a good pack out too. All downhill, maybe what, quarter of a mile if that? Yeah. Be good. Shot him from up there on the ridge. Cause it's fun. Made it back to the bikes, backpacks unloaded. Deer ready for travel. Only thing one left to do. Salud. Victory brewskis. Salud. Still got one more tag to go. A couple good bucks. Pretty bueno. Very happy with this buck. He's a cool buck, man. And then having a little, couple of little extras. A little extra dings back here. Good buck. buck, man. Good buck. Good buck. I'm great from last year. Keep the trend going up. That was the goal. Be better than last year.
Just a little drink because it was my god shot. That's it. Just a little 738. Wait till it. Two bucks, two days, two solid bucks, man. Seventeen thirty-eight. Little celebration. Just need one more. Get that hundy. Hundred incher. Got close to that mark today. Close. Real close. No numbers yet. Keep you. Keep you on. Uh, what would be the word? Suspense. What, what? Need a suspense. We'll get back to you on the number. Yeah. We'll get back to you on the number. Can't go wrong with that 1738. It's been good, good to us. Been good to us this year. Right, kill it on the elk hunt, huh? Oh! <laughs> it's not gonna be. If we drop a hundred inch, it ain't gonna make it to the elk hunt. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it not. It ain't gonna make it to the elk hunt. And I think that Clan McGregor for the elk hunt. Oh! You gonna be Clan McGregor, proper twelve, or that wild turkey? Wild turkey. <laughs> that wild turkey that we bought for Cochise twenty one. That was delicious. If you guys haven't seen that yet? Check it out. Coos Cation episode one. <laughs> <laughs>